well, time for take two, apparently. <laughs> so, uh, the retweet little campaign thing on Twitter finally got reached. Well, finally took like three days. <laughs> it didn't even take that long. But 10,000 retweets were reached, and they released this picture. That is the four words, Java, meeting, deleted, and smiling. Uh, because I didn't feel like this was as important as the newsletter, I'm making it its own video, so you get a second video today. Good for you. Um, but if you rearrange those words, I'm sure you guys have seen it already. If you rearrange those words, you do get LF Majin Vegeta, or Le Legends Limited Majin Vegeta. So, um, yeah, pretty much confirmation that an LF Vegeta is coming, and he should be dropping on Tuesday. For those of you who are wondering when he's going to come out, he is most likely coming out on Tuesday. So uh, be prepared for that. Now, in terms of whether or not you should summon, right? That, that's what the main purpose of this is going to be. Should you summon for, L for this LF Majin Vegeta? I'm going to straight up, I'm going to say no. I don't think you should because the only two teams he can buff are Saiyans and Vegeta Family through Z ability and, you know, probably like uniques. And the thing is, Vegeta family already does everything. So no, no matter what this, no matter what Majin Vegeta does, he'll fit on the Vegeta family team, which is kind of the problem. <laughs> There's no gaps for him to fill anymore. Uh, they were missing a tank before the anniversary. They got rage chunks. They were missing a support before the anniversary. They got the Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. All of uh, everything that you would want a, a unit or a team to have, Vegeta family now has. Maybe they don't have a super annoying unit that you know increases uh, art, arts card costs and destroys cards and inflicts you with ridiculous debuffs, you know, stuff like that. But at the end of the day, that's again, that's more of a supportive aspect. He can bring new things to the table, but in terms of you know, actual utility, there's nothing he can do that Vegeta family isn't already doing. So the team doesn't desperately need him. And in terms of Saiyans, it's the same, it's the same thing. There's nothing he could do to warrant you summoning for him. Neither team desperately needs him. And that that's the problem. I think they released him at kind of the wrong time. Vegeta family is in the best position it's ever been and didn't need him. And Saiyans, whereas it could be better, there's, there's like small gaps. Majin Vegeta could maybe do multiple things and fill in small gaps for the Saiyan team. It's not essential. You're, you're, you're not, your Saiyan team is not really going to be any worse without him, provided you have certain units. So at the end of the day, I don't think you should summon for him. I get it. It's Majin Vegeta is a fan favorite, but... I'm probably going to skip. The only way that they're going to get me to summon on this banner is if LF Frieza is on it. And even then, the rest of the banner has to be like extremely fire because I'm not going to I'm not going to waste my crystals for one unit. That makes no sense to me. I, I I need a banner to at minimum have like 5 or 6 units that I can use. So we'll see what the banner looks like, but I'm most likely going to end up skipping it uh, in its entirety. And I think you should as well, especially for people who are trying to save for even more hype LFs like Gogeta Blue. If you're if you're the type of person who wants to save for Gogeta because you're a Gogeta fan and you want to you know, summon for Gogeta, save. Save for Gogeta because this proves uh, that they could release any unit at any time. Everyone was expecting an LF Android because of what they did last year with the Namek Saga ending right after the anniversary. So we were all expecting an LF Android. And we got freaking Maja Vegeta. They in, they completely skipped the Android the Android saga. Like they skipped an entire saga and went straight to the middle of the of the Boo saga <laughs> and gave us uh, LF Majin Vegeta. So they can literally release any unit they want at any time. So for all we know, Gogeta Blue could be the next LF after Majin Vegeta. And if that's the case. I think, I think Gogeta Blue is going to end up being better than this Majin Vegeta anyway. So I, I would absolutely try and save. Uh, don't Just make sure you don't spend all your crystals. If you're that type of person who's like, well, I want to do at least one rotation. Fine, but only if you have enough crystals to still have some left over. 
I'm saying I'm talking like maybe 8k if you got like 8k or more by all means do a rotation you'll probably restock that by the time the next uh, LF comes out but if you're rocking you know five like four five k three k I, I I'd say skip skip maybe do the first couple steps the first couple steps are only like what, 700 crystals uh, all together you can do the first couple steps but not a full rotation I absolutely skip once you get to the full price multis. Um, yeah. LF Majin Vegeta. People have wanted it for a long time and kind of released at the worst possible time because neither of the teams he can buff really need him. It's unfortunate, but there are going to be people who, you know, just are blinded by nostalgia and the fandom in some form anyway, but. I'm going to be honest, no matter how good he is, I don't think it's worth it. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed your second video today. Weirdly enough, I had so many videos planned out and then all this stuff uh, got dropped today. Here's a, little, uh, here's a little insight for you guys. This is the first time in almost a month that I am uploading a video on the same day that it was recorded and I'm doing it twice. <laughs> Both, both these videos today were obviously recorded today, and it's the first video that was uploaded on the same day that I recorded it since, yeah, since last month. <laughs> In fact, most of the videos that you've seen over the past couple weeks were recorded upwards of five days in advance. Like, there's a PvP video coming out tomorrow. That was recorded almost a week. That was literally recorded like over a week ago. <laughs> that's, that's how ahead I am on videos. And it, it, it's, it's actually kind of nice. But anyway, I'm going to get out of here. If you enjoyed, make sure to hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Um, I do have a new channel member to, uh, to shout out. So put you up on screen right now. Uh, thank you for becoming a channel member. Here's your straight jacket. Uh, I'm not putting a straight jacket on screen. I, 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 I don't. No, <laughs> I'm not. I'm not Google. I'm not Google searching a JPEG of a straight jacket just to put it up on screen. I probably will, but <laughs> I'll see all of you inmates back here at the asylum for the next video. Peace.